and they've got millions of views previously, but we've never done one on the weekly. So today we are going to pick up, well you tell them Nathan, what are we picking up? We're picking up a new dawn. Yeah, buddy! <laughs> So it's Monday morning, we've got to take the Uros back to the body shop. We took it to go and get PPF and it's come back this morning. There's a few issues, bumpers need lining up. So we've got to take it back now. I'm going to follow Nahid in my car, get it all sorted. And then yeah, it should be back out soon. So we've just got to the body shop. The Uros is just going to get a few tweaks done to it, just to make sure that it's all nice and flush. So when the rack does go on it, you know, everything's nice and neat and nothing has to come back off. They go in this morning for the rack, but it just says, oh, we just need a few little bits tweaking and then yeah. We should be sweet. I'm gonna take Nahid back in my car now and I'll see you back at the showroom. So we've just landed back at Pet and we've noticed that Mark's van's here. So we're just gonna quickly go have a catch up with him. Let him know that we're gonna get some more fish hopefully in this week, inshallah. How are you, Mark? You got some new fish? Oh, no way. I take it you can't just put them straight in? No, you got to adjust them. Private as in one tank, it's always different to in the other. We're slowly putting water from the aquarium into there to get their water the same as this one. I've actually quarantined them personally myself, so I know I know they're healthy. So there we have it, the fish are in. Seem to be getting along quite well already, which is a good sign. The tanks can be quite aggressive to each other, so he's just hiding, hopefully. All goes well. Easy lad, how are you? Good morning. How are you, Nathan? First of all, clear. I oh, know, mate. Oh, no. Stop coming home. <laughs> I like you did though. Yeah, I, I love the way I mentioned it to you and you was like, yeah, but we've got new fish at the showroom though. I tried to divert the conversation straight away. I don't want to talk about it. But so I kid you not, that. yeah, the, ma the memories that the England team have given us, yeah. the moments the England team have given us, like the moments that we had at the Park Regis, uh, those are moments that I will be thankful for for England forever. Like the moments that we had together, you know, we, we, we would never be able to forget that. Right. Winning and losing, it's all part of the game. That's why you compete in a sport. Someone has got to go. And at the end of the day, I'm not trying to downplay Italy's victory or anything like that, but everybody said England need to score in the first five minutes if we have any chance of winning the final. I've heard that so many times from people. And guess what they did? In two minutes and 30 seconds, they scored. <laughs> Happens, isn't it? <laughs> but I think the uh, the England squad should be very, very, very proud of themselves. I think everybody should be very proud of themselves. I think everybody should be proud of the nation. I think the way that everybody got together to go to the pubs to see lots of people from different backgrounds, you know, different ethnicities coming together to support England was beautiful. And hope we can maintain that. Anyway, I can go on and on and on and on and on about this. But how are you, Nathan? I'm all right. You okay? Are you yeah. sure? It's a bit devastating, but mm, I'm all right. Yeah. It is what it is, isn't it? You know what? It's just part of the journey of life, isn't it? Can I show you something very exciting? Yeah, go on. All right, you ready? Yep. So if you follow me on my Instagram, lordaleem underscore official, you would have seen that I posted an image of my new Rolls-Royce Dawn. I ordered two Rolls-Royces in the back of a Phantom 8, and both of them have arrived. One of them I've posted on my Instagram, which we will be picking up this week, inshallah. It's white with red. It's like the England colors. It was perfectly set for it to be coming home. Um, and I've got to show you my new, other new Rolls Royce. The Kulina. Oof, look at that. Anyway, more of that later, Starlight headlining, all of that. I also went to Goodwood on Sunday. Uh, it was just a reminder of why I don't go to Goodwood. So there's lots of walking around in a field, looking at cars that I can do anywhere. I'm just like all of that sort of stuff. Uh, Nene, anyway, I've got to sign some documents at the office. Should we roll? Yeah, let's go. Come on, brother, let's go.
Was war nicht? Come on England, come on England And England's hopes and dreams are all over Euro 2020, what a tournament Looks lively. You're right, they've started to come out. Hi, how are you? Yeah, nice yeah. to see you again. That's a nice new fish. Mondays at Pet HQ. Welcome to another episode of LA Weekly, episode 10. Milestone, this is. It's a milestone. Yeah. Where's Nahid? Where is Inam? Where is where is the man then? Inam. As they would say. He's got a day off today. Yeah. He's got some family events yes. to attend to. Yes, I remember. Nahid probably doing Inam's job, running stuff around at the moment. He's also invited us to his Valima on Sunday. Oh, that's brilliant. Absolutely. Nahid's getting married. Nathan. I think we need to implement gym. <laughs> Shall we implement gym into the weekly? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, from today, we have some few bits and bobs to do. So we need to sort out the merch. I'll tell you more about that very soon. And let's find out what gym we can both go to that will be a good gym that we can start from tomorrow onwards. Because we're all getting a bit tubby now, aren't we? <laughs> oh, you're not. You're, you're a nice you and smart. Do you want Ooh, why did you say that? I really want Briani now. And then can you go with um, uh, Nathan and drop off a uh, Rolls Royce Phantom to uh, the dealers? Yeah. Now he's coming as well, so you all three of you can go. Salah, so, oh, mashallah. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, good, thank you. How are you? Fine. Ladies and gentlemen, can we just present Maj to you? Maj is also one of our drivers here at Platinum Executive Travel, and this new fitted suit is looking amazing on you. Good. You on a job now? Oh, yeah. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. Top man. Right, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to know how real LA Weekly is, we're live and direct from Bolton right now at <laughs> the offices. Uh, yes, my, what are you doing? What are you watching? Relaxing at the moment, just getting ready to go cover a school run. How do you like to spend your free time? When we do have people tonight, one second, hold the line. Watch it, LA Weekly. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll love you and leave you. So we're gonna go get lunch now. Your McDonald's has, uh, off goes the phone. I'll call you back. Pops, how are you? Hi, right, as you all know, this office has been uh, infected with the BMW bug ever since Unknown has joined us and it's followed through all the way through. And now, the bug is getting stronger and stronger. It's mutated and it's coming in the form of an X6M. After that, as an X5M, as an, oh, the, the, the M bug is alive. All right, we are on our way to Rolls-Royce. I know throughout the episodes, we have been here many a time, but this is home to us because we have so many Rolls-Royces. As you can appreciate, we do have to visit the service center quite a lot. We're gonna make sure our Rolls-Royces are in top running condition. They are mechanically sound, so we do not lose money having to fail out on jobs if for whatever reason the car is off-road, which touch wood never really happened too often with Rolls-Royce because the build quality, the, uh, the service, uh, everything around it is five stars. It's just one of the best manufacturers in the world. seen the new Rolls-Royce colour then. I have I gone on my Insta. Very nice. Very nice. One thing that we ticked and that we removed was the dashboard. We was going to get it all piano, similar to the 70 plate one that was at my sister's in the car. But obviously for the use that we use the car for, fingerprint and then every time you wipe it down, it scratches. You can also PPF it, but then it removes that quality. So we went for the same matte wood finish. Poor oh boys. Bit of a sad one, yeah? England. I just would like to watch that match. <laughs> I went from Sutton Coldfield to Coventry, 16 minutes. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, now you got your biryani. That just reminds me we need to get food now. So what should we get? It's got to be en route, so. When does when it eat? Next year. Shut up. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I need to get a suit. No, you don't need to wear a suit for eat. <laughs> Why? No, oh, it's, like, it's not a wedding function. <laughs> the Asian clothes, isn't it? Yeah, the, oh yeah, oh yeah. I don't know what to call it. You want a plain white shalwar kameez? Yeah, you yeah. get a Nice, plain white shalwar kameez. With a topi. Can you get a rumor for him? What's a topi? A topi. No, I it's not a topi. I've said it like in a white boy. A topi. Like, I can't it's topi. You want to give him a rumor? Let's not kick him out too much because I don't think he's ready to take the plunge yet. He just likes the culture right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is the start. Yeah. Oh, Nathan, let's have some food. In three, two, one, you will see all these pieces vanish. 
<laughs> right, so we've got the 6x6 and the Bugatti out here. We can get some images from it. Let me introduce you to a brother, Ash AN Automotive. Say hi to LA Weekly. Hi guys. So guys, I'm going to put up AN's Instagram. I've known him for how long now? Three, four years. Ago. Yeah, three, four years, since he was a little little nipper yeah. as well. Now, mashallah, he's turned into a, a big lad and uh, he's still around, you know, unlike the others. Uh, <laughs> he's going to be getting some shots of the Veyron and the 6x6. His, uh, his work is amazing. You should check him out on Instagram, follow him for everything automotive. Uh, it's a great car community. Nahid nearly crashed into the Bugatti. <laughs> Lovely. Don't <laughs> up! Oh! Oh! oh. You know, He's got, no, he's got no heart, has he? No heart. No heart. True, truth is, actually, Nahid bullies Ali. Like, can you go home now, please? <laughs> please, I, like, you've bullied me enough for today. Come on. Why are you not bullied me? Why So, A and Automotive will be getting some shots of the uh, Veyron and the 6x6, and we're probably going to be using this on our website and other social platforms. But yeah, that's it from today, Mondays. It's all happening. Me, Inam and Maj White are taking the Dawn over to Onyx to get a full detail. Obviously, it being white interior, gets a little bit mucky sometimes. So it needs some TLC. So we're going to go quickly run over to Onyx, drop this off in the morning. It is, what time is it, Inam? 10.29. I'm with Inam. You are with Inam. I ain't nice, bro. You're nice, bro. Yeah. I got an Evo and a five. The Big lad like you, flapping. You know, if I'd have hit that M5, yeah, I'd lose my head. Why? Because who's M5 is it? Big dog upstairs, unknown. Right. Madge has left us. Madge has this trait, you know. You know, whenever I go to like um, BP or, or Swan Tesco with him, yeah, I've got cash there to fill up mine, yeah. But we both collect points now. <laughs> so he'll very kindly just come up to me and say, oh, yeah, no, I'll go in and pay for yours. Yeah, because so he wants points. Because he wants more points. He is actually quite big because just off like Tesco ones. During this month, I've made like a tenner. Have you? Yeah. Mark, just like you no. just you just carry on with points and that. Just like if you're gonna flare up anyway, you might as well. So I'll just yeah. So yeah. We wait. yeah, see you in a bit. Oh. But look, Madge has come to pay, so he can get his club card points. <laughs> as Inam was just Told saying. <laughs> okay, so I'm at Grills, which I'm probably at like fucking three times a week. Uh, but I was there on um, Sunday night. Sunday night finals, yeah. So I'm with one of the lads and like he was like, he was vexed because he couldn't get the day off of work. So he just started his shift. He's just having his evening meal before he cracks on, yeah? He's having a chicken steak. And guess what he's having as a side? Pasta. No. <laughs> kind of a pasta. A pasta in a sauce. A certain sauce. Carbonara? Nah. Close. He's macaroni. I ain't never eating pasta again. Until next week. <laughs> Don't feel as bad as pasta. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. Uh, you, were, you were upset, innit? I story, was upset, man. bro. Bro, but you know what though? I need to leave off over his house here, and I swear to God, we just hugged for about 20 minutes. Bro, I'm just sad. We were 20 minutes, it was about two minutes. Before. Yeah, okay. That's what I said. Yeah, anyway. See you at Onyx. See you at Onyx. We've just landed at Onyx. Stu's taking a look at the store in regards to the interior and the condition it's in because we need a heavy, heavy detail on it. Jay Paul. How are you, lads? Yeah. Three o'clock, I'm coming back. You ain't even gonna watch that. Yeah. <laughs> no, three o'clock, I'll be back. Do you reckon you can get it out, though? He will, he will. No, he'll come out, he'll come out. He'll we'll definitely come out. Listen, no job's too small for him, you know. We're gonna see how, how good these guys really are, because that, that's bad. <laughs> that's bad. This was in a 24-hour period. And then when we came to pick the car up for the next job, we were on a back-to-back, Mad took one look at it and was like, whoa. On the plus side, the front ain't too bad. Can I advise you on something? Go on. Don't buy white interior. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Madge is in a rush. So Madge we're in and out, nice and quick. And we're gonna leave that with them. They're gonna get cleaned up. We'll come and collect it later. But for now, here's that. Back to the pen. How are you in Ambai? 
had a big family event yesterday, didn't you? You enjoy your day off. Cherish it, you ain't getting another one. It's not a petrol station scene. If it's not with your boy, Match. How are you, Match? All right, how are you, sir? Long time no see. You got any shout outs this week? Yeah, I've got loads of shout outs, but the problem is I've left my notebook at home. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to wait till later. All oh, right, all right. Oh, there's one I can remember. I met, a, met him at the Shell Garage on Washbury's Road. Oh, yeah. I think his name was Tiki. Tiki. Yeah, so shout out to Tiki. <laughs> <laughs> We did go in, tried the wave, but it didn't work. It's not for us today, is it? It's parts department. So we've just quickly pulled into Lamborghini dealers. We've just got to grab some parts for the Urus, yeah? And we're going to drop them off and then What did it say? It was for what car? Go. The Urus. Urus? Urus. Yeah, not Urus. That's what I said, Urus? You said Urus first. No, I said Urus. No, rewind it. Urus. Check it. But listen, go on. I'm in the same boat. I say Urus sometimes as well. Do you? Yeah. 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 Uterus. No, not Uterus. <laughs> oh yeah, listen. Go on. Shout out. Oh yeah, go on. I just remembered. There was Banbury boys. Banbury boys, yeah. There was a lad in A45 AMG white one. Some the number plate was something boy. And <laughs> shout out to him. Shout out to the Leeds boys. Rotherham, don't bother him. Rotherham, yeah. yeah. Sheffield, we can't miss them now. Sheffield, can we? yeah. Left Sheffield. Um, lads. Bradford lads. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, you forgot the main guys. Who? Tohid, Tayyab, Hassan, and Hussein. <laughs> Your son. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can't miss them out. All those guys who asked for a shout out but didn't get one. Shout out to you. I can't mention your name, seriously, because I've, I actually forgot, but next time I'll make a note. So we've just pulled up at A. Thompson's Motor Buddies, just dropping some parts off, just waiting for Madge Boy to come back. Change of plan, I'm going on my own to get the tires fitted on the SVJ. I have to leave Nathan here. He's driving the Lamborghini back. So just to put it on camera, I'm leaving Nathan at A. Thompson. So if anything happens to him, they're responsible, not me. <laughs> Thank you. Assalamu alaikum, Nathan. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you doing? Hey, doing? You okay. Good? Rolex has got more than one. Oh, I can't <laughs> get that song out of my head. Majbai, did you uh, like previous episode? Honest to God, that one shot, right, was all because of Maj. And he messaged me, you know. He said, what, a, what an amazing credit you are to the team. And we didn't have to do that. That's the best bit. Have you ever done that before? Well, one thing I'm upset about, yeah, is that you put two hours later. It didn't take two hours. <laughs> but it looked good. It took us half an hour, didn't it? Right, really? You're sacked. <laughs> you're sacked. Only two hours later. Did it in half an hour? Night bye! Monica? Yeah. Complico? Yeah. For obviously hurting your eye. This is your present. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> this one's got laser lights. Unknown should uh, should upgrade to laser lights, no? Mashallah, this looks absolutely beautiful. We'll have a proper look around this in a second. If you don't mind, can I show them your car shortly? Thank you, sir. My first drive in a Lamborghini today. Well, I saw it on your story. Were you driving that Urus? Urus, yeah. Did you like it? Yeah, it was fun. Was it that one? Yeah. It's the best car in the world? What would you rather have, Cullinan? Cullinan, definitely. Come on, it's a difference. Jordan 4s or Jordan 1s? How are you, Bia? Congratulations. You got engaged yesterday. <laughs> no, joking, joking. Yeah, okay, 3300 on that. How are you, Pops? You look stressed. So, but look, you got, your, you got your full squad back today. You're still stressed? We yeah, got loads and loads to do, or what? No, I will, right? Right, after, after looking at that BMW downstairs, do you wish you had laser lights now? <laughs> You're not even talking. <laughs> <laughs> For the camera purposes, he nodded. <laughs> Big difference in a laser. What about the carbon pack? <laughs> <laughs> downstairs, I like that one. Um, right, Nathan, let's go have a look at it. We have two BMW M3 competitions. Uh, they are not available to hire from Platinum Executive Travel, uh, but they are our personal cars. And as you can see, this one has the laser headlights and it makes all the difference. She looks absolutely stunning. Now, hey, boy, what a great choice you went for. He has got a big hole in the pocket right now. Have you read the comments? About my bullying going too far with you now. Yeah. All right. So, so, uh, so now it's all clear now. We've cleared it, We've cleared <laughs> it now. Can you just tank it on the back? Uh, yeah, sure. Do they not give it you tank? It's brand new. Wow. Wow, wow these seats are amazing. I'm not sure about these seats. They look great. They feel great. But when you get in and out, they're a bit stiff on the sides. Like, you can't just slide out of it. Let's put it back inside. It's exciting, but 
There's more exciting things on the horizon. Like a Rolls Royce Cullen and an Adorn. <laughs> so guys, it's Tuesday. Nathan, you've been super busy this morning, haven't super you? Super busy. So we had the Avengers SVJ tyres changed. Yeah, I drove the For the one. first time today? For the first time. Now, I'm getting a lot of comments, people saying, Nathan, we want to see you drive the car. Oh my day, look how chunky these tyres look. They are chunky, aren't they? Uh, they're all saying, Nathan, they want to see you drive some of the cars, and today you drove it, and then get to see you do it. So maybe later on, we can go again. All right, so what have we got? The carbon air ducts, got front adaptive laser control, cruise control, carbon wing mirrors, which Mr. Unknown don't have. Yeah. Yes, we got the new laser angel eyes, so they're like half hex. Burnt orange tan flipping interior. It's actually better than me at talking around, walking around BMs, isn't it? Okay, what else? Nine by. Carbon rear lip spoiler. Yeah. Carbon roof, obviously, standard. Yeah. What about diffuser? Carbon diffuser. Unknown has that? Unknown don't have that. Unknown don't have nothing. Nah. Unknown's basic bob. But Unknown had to pay extra to get Michelin Pilot 4 4 S's. Oh, and this one's got it. We got it certified. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> We've just made Unknown's M3 sound like a BTEC M3. Basically, poverty spec. Oof. The BMW wars have started. Jordan 4's or Jordan 1's? All these have got more than one. Oh. What? We've got so many new cars arrived. <sighs> Can't keep up. I'm actually stressed. Where are we gonna get all this space? We haven't even got enough space. So Tuesdays, the boys are hard at work and we have lots of new cars arriving. Nathan tonight is gonna to be going with Inam to Middlesbrough. So this hasn't happened before. You guys will be joining uh, the boys on a delivery. Enjoy the deliveries a bit later on and um, I'll see you around. Let's get cracking. Right, well I'm not really prepared for it, but guys it's, um, 7.37 in the evening, uh, me and Nathan and Unknown are heading up north to Middlesbrough and to drop off these three cars, uh, Ghost Series 2, G63 and the AVS Roadster. We're leaving now, inshallah, we should be there by about half ten. Get the cars to the customers, we're going to pick them up again tomorrow, but yeah, first bit, let's get them there. Right guys, so it's half eleven, we've just landed at the second address in Middlesbrough, so essentially three cars came up north, the G-Wagon the Ghost and the Aventador S Roadster as you guys saw. One of which was for one side of this one wedding which is a bride side and the other two cars were actually for the groom side so we've done them all in one go. Got them all here. We're just signing off the last two cars. Um, we're gonna head back to Birmingham. We are a bit late but that's because we had a lot of uh, diversions on the motorway but alhamdulillah we've made it. We've got the cars to the customers. We will leave shortly and inshallah we'll be back at base for about what do you reckon half two? Half two, three o'clock. Half two, inshallah. So, we we'll see you guys at base. So, me and the boy just stopping up at the services because we're starving. Hey, what time is it, Inam? Um? Should be back 12 in the morning. So we're on the night run, which means you're still going to be back in for 9 a.m. Whereas the second team are on the morning run, which is departing at about 4 a.m. from the showroom. So, literally, we'll get back at about 3 quarter past 3. They'll be there by 4 o'clock, leaving with our cars. They've got the chicken Caesar and they've got the, I don't know why the facing me and they've got the uh, southern fried chicken. Why is it two guys, all blacked out, with a massive camera, <laughs> inspecting the fridge? Elf department, love. Elf and safety. Easy elf, I'm safety. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they got a tuna cucumber, some roll. Come here, look. Come here, man. You get this whole cool box full of drinks for 15 quid, and I swear to you, there's about 15 quid's worth of drinks in it. And you get one of these ice packs with it for a quid. You know what I mean? In there, boom, sorted. Bing bang bosh. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna get a little pot of apples in. So guys, you join us in the BMW M3. This is our second BMW M3 competition. No, we haven't sold the other one. We still have it at this moment in time. I think we're kind of collecting BMW M cars. Uh, a big thank you to BMW Park Lane. Um, I always want to say a big thank you to them. A lot of people think that they are throwing cars at me for free. One second. Still needs opening up a little bit as it is brand new, box fresh. Uh, but yes, anyway, going back to the point, uh, no. BMW Park Lane are not throwing cars at me for free. I wish that was the case, <laughs> but they do make the process of purchasing a car very, very smooth, very easy, and the after sales 
uh, the customer service is second to none. So a big thank you to BMW Park Lane. And if the guys over at Park Lane are watching, you guys are amazing. And thank you so much for my uh, new BMW M3. This one has all the options ticked. The previous one, we wanted to experience what the M3 was like, so we just wanted one as soon as possible. We didn't get the laser lights, the, the full carbon pack and the seats and that sort of stuff. But on this one, we made no exception. Now, uh, there is a few things that we are considering as well as having a fully spec'd up BMW M3 and that is an exhaust system. So more on that in the future, but for now we are driving over to Onyx Automotive because this car is receiving yeah, shock PPF. This one, we still have to decide whether it's going to have a gloss PPF or a satin PPF. Previous one is a gloss car, so I think it's only right that this one goes satin, but we will lock in our final answer once we get to Onyx Automotive. The difference between these seats and the comfort seats, pretty much self-explanatory. These are more sportier, they hold you in to your position a lot better. What do you think of it, Nathan? Yeah, it's nice, I do like it. I like the interior colour. Yeah. Um, I like the carbon fibre trim as well, it yeah. just goes nice, especially with the carbon back of the chair. Yeah. Like, what, what do you call that? The carbon back, um, carbon back of the chair. Exactly that, carbon oh. back of the chair. So these are carbon fibre seats, nice and lightweight. There is one thing, if you are a little bit on the large side, I don't think these are the most comfortable seats. Yeah, it makes you feel like you're in a hardcore variant of a BMW 3 Series, which I think is very, very important. Um, so for that reason, these seats <coughs> are a must. Now, there is an estate version coming out and also an X-Drive, four-wheel drive version that's coming. So yeah, they're both going to be copped. And then we are also going to be trying out the X5M, the X6M, the M8. You can kind of see where BMW are going with this. They're trying to tempt us with all their different M models. We are here now at our favorite place, Onyx Automotive, the car care specialists. Sir? Good, dude. Good, thank you. We're back at Onyx Automotive, the car care specialist. <laughs> A new car, BMW M3. You like this one? Seems yeah? Come, come on through. Right, um, I don't know if uh, we've locked it in at the moment, but we're going for a satin PPF on this one. Bring it over and tell us what to do. That's it. Oh, okay, say no more. So as you guys know, this is my go-to place when I come for PPF, uh, but other services that they offer is uh, full deep interior cleans and this might seem like a, a little bit of an advertisement but I was very very impressed with the Rolls-Royce Dawn interior. Come up well didn't it? It come up well like we have a white interior guys for a car rental company that is insane <laughs> and if we don't have companies like Onyx Automotive we cannot maintain those leathers so I want to say a big thank you for preserving the leathers on that. Another thing as well this one's going sat in PPF. Guys if you are a fully trained PPF fan we need you. We need you. We need you. Your country needs you. Yeah, we, need you. <laughs> we need you. Yeah. We need you. Right, okay. What else do we have today at Onyx Automotive? Always the best of the best. We actually have an Onyx Rolls Royce here. This is mental. Is this going in for a full PPF? I think it is, yeah, polish first and yeah. then I saw this the other day yeah. and uh, obviously it's a Rolls Royce and it looked beautiful but I could see the paintwork needed some work on it. Needed a bit of love. Yeah, and today this looks like as if it's a showroom fresh, box fresh Rolls Royce. We've got an F8 Tributo Spider here. But yes, we are going to be handing over the BMW M3. It's going to have a satin PPF. We're going to go for satin PPF. What do you think, Nathan? We'll lock that one in. Yeah. Yeah, satin PPF it is. Yeah, that's about it. And again, if you are a professional uh, PPF installer and live around the West Midlands area and you drive and you don't give your boss any hassle and you are a good person, <laughs> come, <and> see us. <laughs> come see us, <laughs> you've got a job. <laughs> Onyx Auto Bodies. Ooh. There you go. Oh, wow. Onwards and upwards, ladies and gentlemen. I love it, I love it. And also gives us a little bit of extra space for the PPF side of things yeah, as well, yeah. isn't it? There's so many times a car comes through, maybe with some stone chips or with some like some scratches. And when you install the PPF on it, it ends up creating air bubbles, which eventually over time, listen, that's no, that's no fault of Onyx's. That's why when a car is brand new, it comes out of the showroom, it should go straight to your PPF installers because you don't want anything to affect the surface of the paintwork which will cause the uh, 
the PPF not to stick properly. There it is, it's been dropped off, sat in PPF time, and we're gonna see the M3 very, very soon. Let's get How are you? Sound. You're back on the road tonight? What's on? Sound, let's go pick him back up. <laughs> Joe TK. <laughs> oh, where from? Middlesbrough. Yeah. It's a big one, that is, isn't it? Look at his smile. No, I'll do it, well. I'll do it, no problem. Oh, I don't like to lose money. <laughs> <laughs> right, we have some guests downstairs. Let's see who this is. Usain, yeah, how are you, brother? Alhamdulillah, man. How are you? Alhamdulillah, nice to see you. How's everything? Hello. What's this you have here for us? Uh, Come on, bring them upstairs. How are you? Yeah. Oh, I'm all good, Alhamdulillah. Just being on the road today. And um, as you know, with Birmingham traffic, you're from Birmingham? Uh, no, no, we came from Leeds. Oh, from Leeds? Yeah. That's quite far. Come all the way from me? Yeah. Should we get it? Let's get a little hug and work with that. You're really tall. Yeah. Right, so what is this that you have here? Right, so um, about two years ago, I started my own business, customizing trainers. Okay. Basically, the story with that was that I wanted my own pairs yeah. customizing. But one of my boys was like, oh, you're good at art. Why don't you do it yourself? So then I did it myself. Everyone loved it, so I just started a business from it. Oh, that. So like you're, you, you've always been into art. Yeah, yeah. And you've kind of used your skills in art to apply them yeah. to... Well, okay, there's no guessing what's in this box. It's a pair of shoes. Uh, these are Nike Air Forces. I'll let you show us what it is. <laughs> oh. My. God. Oof. There's not many times that I'm left speechless, you know that. Check this out, like, I put this on top of the your logo. Oh! Guys, my two favorite cars. The Rolls-Royce Cullinan and the Bugatti. Look, I love I love how well he's managed to capture the Bugatti on the shape of the shoe. Marshall Osebay, you are very, very talented, Thank huh? You, Thank you. Hey, uh, what is your company called? HX Customs? Yeah, that's fine. This is it. We're going to put uh, Osebay's uh, company up now on the screen. It is called uh, HX Customs. We're going to get the link from you anyway. Nice. You'll push, push it up. Nice. But wow, so this is for me? Yeah, that's yours. What a beautiful gift. Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'll say you're a busy guy, huh? Answer it, answer it. <laughs> no, answer no, it, answer no, it. You're one of my buyers. You sure? Yeah. Wow. This is one of, one of the best gifts I have ever, ever received. So meaningful. It's one off. You yeah, can't yeah, get this anywhere. Yeah. I could never have imagined a shoe <laughs> to look like this. That is perfect, right? It's even got the number plate on it. But then you go on to the Rolls Royce Cullinan and you look at the details in the headlights and it's exactly like the Rolls Royce Cullinan. Wow. I'll say by this means a lot to me. Thank you no so worries. much. Now that I know that you can do this, I think uh, once the cameras are off, I'm going to sit down and we're going to come up with some more ideas oh, for some shoes. I think, um, I think I've got some, some friends that I want to give some shoes to as well. And uh, I think there's some orders that I'm going to have to be placing with you. Nice. I'm, like again, I'm not just saying this for the camera, honestly. I'll say by is very, 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 very talented. And uh, I feel truly humbled to have received this as a gift. What about we do, should we just, let's do one now. Let's do an interview post now. Right, so as well as this pair, we are going to be commissioning uh, some more pairs uh, with Osaid and uh, we're gonna come up with some fantastic ideas. So I look forward to more of the pieces. I'm thinking maybe a pair for you, Nathan, one for Nahid, one for Inam. I don't think my dad's gonna wear Air Forces, but <laughs> yeah, um, I think we'll come up with something interesting. Uh, for Nahid, we're gonna put dairy milk bar on one of them and a Coca-Cola bottle in the other one. <laughs> Brother, thank you so much for your time. These Thanks. boys have come all the way from Leeds. They're off back again, and inshallah, we will be seeing them soon. Dang. <laughs> How's it been going? We had a doctor surgery. Huh? I don't know, but today it feels like it very, well, feels very well, tense in the office today. Well, the general in the other office. Yeah. He's like tired. Yeah. Baby general here is tired, and N fella is. <laughs> N fella, you know. <laughs> but you know, um, people are saying baby general's being overworked. Is that true? He's um, certainly overpaid. <laughs> 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 no, but the other work, well, I don't think he does any. Oh dear. Where are you, lads? All right. <laughs>
<laughs> right, Wacky Wednesdays. It is uh, in Ambai. I let you do the time. Five seventeen. Last hour. It is five seventeen p.m. Five. on a Wednesday. There is a lot of work on tonight. You are going to Middlesbrough. You are going to Middlesbrough. Yes, yeah, not. General far. is going to Middlesbrough. Yes. And I might be going to Middlesbrough, depending right, on right, how right, I right, feel. Right, right, right. I might be joining right, the gang today. We're going to find out tonight. No, no, right, I'll see you all in a bit. The, uh, Maybe. The, uh, <laughs> all right, so the second night shift has started. We're on the way to China. <laughs> so the night shift that Pet has started, we've got to go back to Middlesbrough. Uh, we've got to do a few drop-offs and things like that. And yeah, we're fully on our way. So guys, it's quarter to one, just landed in Middlesbrough. We've just picked up the ghost from the location around the corner. Just checking over the AV roaster now, got the G-Wagon next to me. I'll be taking the uh, G-Wagon back. You two have got to go to Nelson to drop um, the AV roadster off and the ghost. And yeah, it's a, it's a late one for me anyway. What's happening? How many bugs do you think have lost their lives on the front of this G-Wagon? Come and look at this. Whoa. Forget the G-Wagon, yeah? Come and look at this. <laughs> Is that how you going on? Yeah. Oh my days. At least they can say they lost their lives on a grill of a Rolls Royce, whereas these, that they lost their lives on the grill of a Mercedes. A bit more basic, right? There's some fat, juicy ones there. <laughs> right, this still hasn't got PPF. Why? Are they too busy? Ended up making Onyx Automotive so busy that they cannot even do my own car. So if you are a professional PPF installer, please get in touch and work for them <laughs> so I can get my cars in. The Lamborghini Aventador SVJ is looking so clean. Wow, this has just been washed, I take it, right? Uh, so this has been washed. This is going to Nelson on a chauffeur drive. And here, the bug infested Rolls Royce is having its snow foam. I tell you what, that car is looking super glossy. And what do we have here? Other than a lineup of bins, we have to really, we are really thinking of uh, changing up this area. I know a lot of people have been saying, oh, the walls are dirty, it doesn't look professional, etc., etc." Well, we're thinking of actually resin flooring the whole area. So it's gonna be nice, clean, crisp, white resin floor install some cabinets in a nice worktop area there. For, for those people that think he gets bullied, the rumors will be clear. We are gonna make his workspace exactly how he wants it. Inshallah. Uh, inshallah. Right, uh, Black Phantom, six by six, and a Ventador. So again, there's nothing upstairs. No, nothing. And hardly anything here. And I haven't seen the Cullinan in God knows how Just long. Just come in, yeah. went straight back out. Oh, really? Yeah, I have another Rolls-Royce Cullinan arrive uh, in a couple of weeks, but for that, we have the Rolls. I don't know if you guys remember, but I ordered two Rolls Royces while sitting in the back of the Rolls Royce Phantom 8. We configured them, we confirmed the orders, we sent them off, and the cars have arrived. Right, that's about, what, 700,000 pounds worth of cars on the horizon. Rolls Royce Dawn arriving first. That's gonna be exciting. Fresh box, fresh Dawn. Is it a good job that I didn't go? I got back at half four. Oof! Yeah, I got back to the showroom at four, got home for half four. Um, but I didn't sleep till eight. Did you get footage? Got a little bit before we left, and then that was it. Then <laughs> it's just got... game over from there. What? <laughs> it was a trick. Oh, so what happened then? Talk me through. What did you do? So we landed in Middlesbrough around one o'clock in the morning. Why did it take you so long? We didn't leave till half nine. Three hours drive. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. What was that walk? Do you remember the days, Nathan? <laughs> Episode one, two, three. You know, there's something very peaceful and serene about having an empty showroom up here and just hearing my echo when I talk because every time I hear my echo... Money. Mo exactly! <laughs> <laughs> Nathan, we're, we're on the same wavelength. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Say mashallah, Nathan. Mashallah, brother. Come on, brother. <laughs> right, we need to hit the road. Right, we need to go as soon as possible because I did promise Alfie that I'll be there at 3.30 and at the moment our ETA is quarter past four. So we're 45 minutes late. But he'll hold fire. He's a good lad. Yeah, no, no, wicked. Yeah. Nothing. No, it's too good at his job, isn't he? Pardon? It's too good at his job, isn't he? Yeah, it needs fuel. Okay. 
I'm a scally, I'll live like him. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it with the bugs on, mate. Oh, oh man, I can't even look at him. It's been two weeks. No, well, Sunday, it's not his Willima. No wonder I was thinking of flying out somewhere, but then I was thinking there's something like, very important this weekend I gotta do. What we gotta wear? Can I just wear all white? I don't want, what are you gonna wear? I'm in Sawani. I wanna wear Asian clothes. I'm in black. Right, we're gonna fill up with some fuel and then we'll hit the road. We gotta go to Hatton Garden. Have you ever been to Hatton Garden before, Nathan? Uh, I don't believe I have, you know. It's not that exciting, but it is exciting. You love watches, so you're gonna love to say. Oh, great. Scott. Nathan, on, today man. is Friday. Do you know what this means? Jumma. It's Jumma, and also, I think this is our first new car collection that we've ever done on the LA Weekly. Yes. We've done plenty of them on my channel, and they've got millions of views previously, but we've never done one on the Weekly. So today, we are going to pick up, well, you tell them, Nathan, what we're picking up. We're picking up a new Dawn. Yeah, buddy. What car are we picking up today? BMW M5. <laughs> no, that's, it is from the BMW group, but it's not an M5. It's the door. Oh God, another BMW. Let's get away from this place. I know why Nahi Bai is excited, because this weekend is Nahi's Belima. You look left, you look right, and they're always busy. Slam on the How are you? What's the latest? Okay. Yeah, that's where we're heading to now. Is this Bugatti getting loaded up onto the yeah, truck? Yeah. What time? Uh, half an hour. Oh, okay. See you later. Hello. You know how many Rolls Royces I've picked up? Eight. In my lifetime. Eight? Yeah. Eight? You personally? I did eight before I was 16. We're five minutes away from the Rolls Royce Manchester showroom. I had a text message come through from the dealer saying that your car is looking stunning on the showroom floor. Well, I guess that's their job. To hype it up. Yeah, I think we're getting a little bit more hype now as we get closer to the showroom. English white with, I can't, I don't even know the exact red leather colour name. I can't remember if it was Hotspur or if it was uh, Fire Glow or something like that. I can't remember but anyway we are not so far away from it. The car is there and we are ready to go. Uh, right, are you excited about this Rolls Royce door? Yeah. Yes. It's English white. <laughs> <laughs> yeah there's lots of different whites that you can have. You can have Andalusian, Arctic, English, Cornish. Yeah it's like a cream white. Oh, like we're just gonna go there now. Let's go. <laughs> David, how are you, sir? Good, nice to see you. Good, good to see you too. How are you? Ladies and gentlemen, this is Damien. You will see him shortly without a mask when we get outside. This, this is Nathan's first time here at this dealership. Nathan, you see what I mean? It's worth coming to pick him up. So, what do I think? Um, can I have a, a lemonade, please? I've never let anyone use this pen, but yeah. I've never let you use it. Ah. So this pen, I've had for 20 years, I got married to my wife, and this is the first time we used this pen was when I married my wife and we signed the register. So, oh, so no what? One ever, no one ever uses this pen. I feel honoured. Okay, so, so one six on that one, please, just there. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Parks. Yo. Yo, I just signed the documents, right, yeah, for this car with a very special pen. Damien's had it since... Uh, Bring the pen with you. No, I <laughs> You drive me mad. Yeah, rub the pen, rub it. <laughs> no, it's actually a lot more sentimental than that. You've oh, he, he... I've just realised you can't rub a rubber. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, yeah. you're the one winner in this transaction, and it's you. <laughs> 
Yeah. See you later, Pat. Listen, yeah. I, I tell you what, I told Jamie in, uh, on his face the other day, I said, whether you like it or you don't, best dealership. And I tell you what, you know him, he really, really does look after us. The, yeah, on, on, honest to God, even from start to finish, 100%, 110%. Occasionally, you have to bully him. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, it's icky. No, 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 occasionally you need to stop bullying me. Go on, sit down. Love, right. Kind of great, I've got to go, let me hand you this. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, and to whiz around to the front for you. Yeah. But there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Brand new 2021 box fresh Rolls Royce Dawn has arrived from Rolls Royce Motor Cars Manchester. Big thank you to Damien. We did film this, but it was my microphone was on mute. Damien was with us, but he's gone inside now, so we don't want to bother him because he is very busy. But Damien, if you're watching this, I love you to absolute pieces. Thank you once again for hooking us up. My Cullinan is also inside, so we'll be back here next week or the week after to pick that up as well. Um, but right now, we have some friends that have told us, Aline, why don't we visit the uh, Bugatti dealership about 10, 15 minutes away? So I think they're going to join us. Come on through. Ladies and gentlemen, what is your name? Nathan. Nathan? Yeah. Nathan. <laughs> and? James. James. James and Nathan have uh, joined me here at Rolls Royce Motor Cars uh, Manchester to um, take some pictures of my stunning dawn. And uh, they are now going to be joining me as we head over to Bugatti. So, Nathan, you get yourself in that M5, and we are now rolling in this Rolls Royce. Let's go. Come on guys, let's go. Da -da 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 -da. So guys, we've just come over from the Rolls-Royce dealership and we are here now at the new Bugatti Manchester dealership. But I am actually more interested in what's in this VW than I am of what's in that showroom because this is the legendary race driver for Bugatti, Mr. Andy Wallace. <laughs> at your service, sir. <laughs> this legend, I'm pretty sure you've watched every Bugatti video. Uh, it's been a pleasure to have a little chat with you as well. Hopefully we'll see you soon. I know you're in a little bit of a rush, so we'll let you carry on. But LA Weekly, you've got a legend right now on your screen. <laughs> Take notes. <laughs> See you guys. Have a good week. Thank you so much, sir. God bless. That's Mr. Andy Wallace. What an honor it is to meet him. And uh, yeah, this is the Bugatti dealership behind us. We had a quick look through it. There's obviously lots of COVID regulations, so we couldn't film in there. Bugatti Purse Sport, there is a Chiron Sport and a Veyron there. And I'm still actually super, super, super gassed at the fact that I've met Mr. Andy Wallace. Can you tell? <laughs> this is the best weekly ever. I'm actually over the moon. You don't understand how many videos of his I've watched of him testing the Bugatti Chiron before I took delivery of the car. I must have overplayed these videos maybe 20 times over. Uh, and Dad, if you're watching this, yes, I did meet your favorite legendary race driver for Bugatti. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this week's weekly. That is it for this week. Nathan, you've got to get back to base. Make sure all this footage is up, ready for the upload, and we are good to go. Yeah? Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining us on this week's LA Weekly. Uh, brand new, beautiful dawn there. Got to see the uh, Bugatti dealership. I've got my uh, LA Weekly club over here as well, my gang. Uh, how was the drive in the Rolls Royce? They said it was very, very smooth. I've had the roof off the whole way, but I think the hay fever is going to get to me very, very soon. So we're going to put that on. Uh, going to go see some family members and then uh, we are rock and rolling. You head back to pet. It's all good to go. Make sure you follow me on my Instagram to see more behind the scenes daily instead of weekly stuff. It's Lord Leem underscore official. It's up on the screen now. Make sure you subscribe, hit the bell notifications button and uh, yeah, comment below on what else you'd like to see. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon for more content. Take it easy guys. God bless. Bye-bye.